мой бой. because oh my god the struggle is way too real with the pores this week it's just ridiculous uh so i'm gonna go in with that first um, and i'm gonna concentrate that around kind of where the main problem areas are pore wise and then just kind of carry that through to everywhere else but the main bulk of it is going to be around my t-zone where i've got the most pores and I don't just mean the most pores on my face. I'm talking the most pores in the world, it feels like right now. Okay, so then I'm going to move on to foundation. And I'm using the NYX HD foundation in vanilla, which is one of my very favourites. I love the um, consistency of it and the texture. I just really, really plot. I'm going to apply that first of all with my Real Techniques brush. And then I tend to go over with um, a sponge just to get rid of any kind of lines. The only issue I've got with this foundation is it can, it smells a little chemically, but it's not too overpoweringly so. But I just love the colour match and the coverage and it doesn't dry my skin out either. So if you've got dry skin and you're looking for a NYX foundation, then I can highly recommend this one. Okay, that's actually gone on without any kind of brush marks or anything on it. So I'm not gonna bother with the sponge just now. I really love the finish of that foundation. It's kind of a blurring one in itself as well. It's got the light particles that kind of bounce the light away from any kind of uh, pores and things like that. So I think that with the blurring primer as well. Okay, so next I'm going to go in and just highlight my face before I set it. And I'm going to be using the Revolution Conceal and Define. And I'm using the shade 0 0.5, which is a beautiful absolutely perfect for me um really really fair pinker toned one um which is just brilliant for me look at that all on one dip as i'm gonna get the sponge out for that just blend that so look at that one dip and just look how well highlighted that is it's absolutely incredible i love it then i'm going to go in and just set that with the revolution translucent powder this is one of the new ones they've brought out they have brought out a ton of new uh shades from their setting baking powders they've also got some blotting powders as well so if baking or setting with loose powder is not your thing um or you are wanting something that's a bit more portable then go and check out the um blotting powders as well um but yeah these loose powders are just brilliant for just setting because as i said before i do have dry skin so i don't kind of go in and um do the whole baking thing and i tend to just put the setting powder on and then dust it away as soon as really just to literally just set that top layer i don't let it sink in and highlight any of my dry bits at all especially after we've put on the um primer and the foundation to kind of give us that more flawless finish so let's just literally tap into that And that's it for now for the setting powder. Um, blah, 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 blah. So that's it for setting powder, but I am gonna go in and contour now and I'm gonna be using the Revolution HD Pro Contour Palette in Fair. Um, and I just mix 
these two together which is the beauty of these palettes. If, if there's not your exact shade, you can generally kind of mix and match. Um, and you can mix and match on different days, different times of the year, um, whatever it is you're needing. So yeah. I always found it really difficult to get my cheeks even because we had a car crash when I was little and I kind of tore most of my cheek off. Um, so the cheek on this side, around where the injury was, is totally different to the other one. So I always find it really, really difficult to kind of match my cheek bones up. We're not symmetrical on either side of our faces as it is, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, let's sort out the five head. And then whatever's left on the brush, just squish the brush. And stamp down the nose where you want to contour your little nosies. Right, we get in there. We get in there. Okay, the next step for me is bronzer. And again, it's another Revolution palette. I know, I know, they're just my favourites, okay? So there I've got the Revolution Ultra Bronze. Um, this is just my favourite bronzer out there because it's matte. Um, so yeah, let's just get into that. I tend to find most bronzers are uh, quite shimmery, which is fine. But for like every day, I prefer a matte one. Which is why I love this one so much. This is one of those stages as well that I think I can kind of forget to do. I think because I contour, I then think, okay, that's done. And I kind of forget to bronze, but bronzing and contouring are two totally different things. So I really, really try to be very, very kind of mindful of not forgetting that step because it makes such a difference. And really really adds that extra layer of dimension almost so yeah don't forget to bronze as well as contour it does make a difference okay so at this stage um we can start to look a little bit or i can anyway start to look a little bit powdery again and i've lost kind of that dewiness that we had before so i'm just gonna go in with a layer of the hyaluronic fixing spray from yeah you guessed it revolution what i like them leave me alone um, so I'm just going to go in with a layer of this and then we're going to start on the eyes. Oh my god, I've nearly run out. Ooh. I am in no way a summer girl. We all know I just wilt in the summer when it's hot. But those sprays just make me look forward to when it's a bit warm and you kind of spritz yourself and it's all refreshing and beautiful. Ooh. Okay, so if we ignore the snoring dog in the background, I do apologise. Um, I'm going to move on to eyes next and I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro. Uh -huh. Not Revolution, it's Revolution Pro. Um, I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Astrological, yep, Astrological palette. Look how beautiful that is. Can you pick up the marbling and the veining in those colours? Oh my god, they're gorgeous. Um, but the look I want to do today just calls for a very, very subtle eye because the emphasis is going to be on the lip, which I can't wait to wear again. Oh my god um so yeah i'm just very excited so let's dig into this so i'm just going to use a fluffy brush for now just to put down a transition shade and i'm going to use this one in the corner called lord star which is more of a cool tone kind of earthy color really Okay, then I'm going to take a smaller brush from Revolution, the Metallics range, and I think I'm going to use, um, oh, I can't be decide between Parallax and Dark Matter, I think I'm going to use uh, Parallax because it just looks a little warmer and just looks like it'll blend out into more of a kind of natural, neutral kind of shade. Um, let's see, yeah, let's just try that one. Ooh, she pigmented. And to say I tapped that off as well. Okay. So I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush that I used for the transition shade just to diffuse that and blend that out. Okay, so that has blended out absolutely beautifully. And then I think what I want to try and do. <sighs> is use a super teeny brush and then go in with dark matter um, and kind of 
put a little bit of almost a, an eyeliner on it and kind of smoke that out a little bit just a little bit um so yeah let's see how that all goes Oh my god, I love it. You see how that has just elongated that eye. <gasps> love it. Do you want to come in a bit closer for this? There we go. Can you see now? Ooh. Okay, so I'm loving that completely. Where's the blending brush? Okay, and then I'm just going to blend it a little bit. I do not want the eyes to take up too much of the attention even though that is fabulous I just kind of want it to be a little bit of a smoke and a bit of a shape rather than the the emphasis being on that love how these are blending like they're still staying there they're not blending away <gasps> love it I like that <laughs> right thanks ever so much oh my god I'm obsessed with this shade what's this one called I'm obsessed with this shade up here called Occult. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna go for this look. I don't think it is, but I really wanna use that at some point. So maybe later in the week I'll use that. Oh, I love it. Tell you what, I think I wanna use a little bit of the um, dark matter that we just used on the outer corner and just bring it underneath a little bit as well. and just give that a little blend okay i am actually living for this dark matter shade actually gorgeous and i'm just kind of blending it no extra product or anything just blending that just into the outside of the crease there I make that liner a clock, do you? And what a shock, I'm going in with a Revolution liner. It's just my absolute favorite liquid liner. And this is the Revolution Renaissance Flick Liner, which is just the best liquid liner out there. If you're new to liquid liner, this is your one. So yeah, I love this one. Okay, that's done. And next I'm on to uh, mascara. And I'm using the Mascara Revolution from Revolution. This just gives um, a really, really great coverage. It's if you like your lashes to be thick and black and just, mm, then this is the one for you. It is gorgeous. Then I'm just going to go in and line my waterline with the Revolution uh, line and flick, um, which is a felt liner on one end and the um, retractable coll liner on the other end. And I just find this the perfect one to put in my waterline because it does not budge and it is as black as black can be. It's brilliant. Um, so yeah, that goes straight in the waterline. Uh, this one always waters. <sighs> okay, now for brows, I think, and this is when it all starts coming together for me. So I'm going to go in with my Revolution uh, Brow Pomade, and this is in Dark Brown. Okay, so they're about as good as they're gonna get today. And then I'm gonna set those with the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel in clear. Just a super light coating of that and that just sets that in place and keeps them nice and where they're meant to be instead of down on your cheeks by tea time. Thank you very much. 
Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with highlighter and I'm gonna use the Revolution um, Christmas ones that they brought out, which are the jelly highlighters. And this one is in the shade Prestigious and is a beautiful um, rose goldy kind of color. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the weirdest texture. It's, ugh, it's so bizarre. I don't even be able to see it kind of pulling up. It's so weird. Anyway. Bit onto the back of your hand. Oh God, look at the reflect on that. Um, and then, yeah, let's just kind of do that with my ring finger. If I'm doing any kind of liquid highlight or jelly highlight, I put it onto the back of my hand and then onto my face with a ring finger. with blusher and I'm going to be using I know revolution mental don't think I've mentioned those ones in this video uh, this is the blush goddess palette um, that I did show in a haul I just did so if you've not seen that one wait till the end of this video and skip back and watch that one where's my favorite blusher brush gone hello oh, there you are I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here which is kind of a pinky peachy color um, but just such a beautiful cool toned situation and look putting it on top of that jelly highlighter we put on just gives the most beautiful effect and next it's on to the star of the show the lips um, and I'm gonna first line my lips with the NYX um, suede liners and this is the one in kitten heels which is one of my favorite favorite um, lip colors from NYX Okay, now that's done, it's time for the gloss and I'm using the Obsession Gloss, um, which I got in a set recently with a couple of other colors. It's just such a gorgeous formula. It's a beautiful gloss that goes on beautifully. It's so well pigmented. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Right, so let's get it on. See, and I always find as well, because I'm quite pale, once I've put the lipstick on, I can then gauge whether um, I need to put any more blusher on or any more highlight or anything needs kind of a rebalance. And I would say I could do with a little bit more blusher just to kind of um, balance that out a little bit between the eyes and the lips. So let's just go back to that stage a second. I just love that lip colour so, so much. I love it. Right, bear with while I go and get myself changed um, and then I will come back and we will look at the final look and see what we think. Bear with. There we go. That is today's look completed. Yes. Um, I'm loving it. I really, really wanted to go for a nice uh, striking red look today um, and I feel like that's come out uh, fairly well. I'm really happy with it anyway. I don't know what you all think. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. Um, the eyeliner I'm loving. I just think it all just comes together really well at the end. It kind of looks a bit scary to begin with, but it kind of really comes together at the end. Um, I love this lip gloss obsession. What formula is going on here? Because it's brilliant. Um, yeah, I just love it. It's just a really, really easy way to kind of make a statement with your makeup. Um, I was really impressed with those eyeshadows and I can't not wait to dig back into that palette particularly to use that kind of yellowy glittery shimmer color that was in there I just think that looks beautiful so I'm gonna have to go and play with that at some point as well um just in case you're wondering this top is one of my bodysuits from boohoo.com with the stripes down the sleeves love it one of my very favorites um and I think these hoops were from Primark not too sure. I'm pretty sure they were from Primark. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving this one. Um, and uh, I hope you are loving it as much as I am. If you are loving it, then make sure you let me know by going and giving this video a big thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below. Um, make sure you would subscribed if you haven't already, please. It would mean the world if you could come and join the Layla Land gang. Um, but yeah, if you are a returning subscriber, then thanks. 
I really appreciate you coming back and listening to my nonsense time and time again. Um, I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope it continues to get better and better and better for you. Remember, I love you very, very lots and I will see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Dead more boy. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Uh -huh.